Do you know what happened to Lucy Arnaz, daughter of Lucille Ball? She is a brilliant actress in her own right and has also worked behind the scenes in the film and TV industry. She's currently working as an executive producer for an upcoming film called Lucy and Desi. It's a biopic that follows the careers of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, who became icons in American entertainment. The film will star Kate Blanchett as Lucille Ball. But what was Lucy Arnaz's own career like? Keep watching to learn about one of America's most iconic showbiz families. Lucy and Desi Lucy Arnaz was born July 17, 1951 in Los Angeles. Her parents, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, were both established entertainers at this point, though they hadn't yet become household names. Lucille Ball predominantly grew up in New York. When she was 12, she performed in a chorus line for a show held for her father's Shriners organization. She loved performing and decided to pursue a career in show business. She began her acting career in the 1930s when she was in her 20s. She appeared in small roles in major Hollywood productions as well as several B-movies. This included films like Room Service with the Marx Brothers, Roberta, Top Hat, Stage Door, and Five Came Back. By the late 30s and early 40s, she'd become a well-known actress. So much so that she portrayed herself in the film Best Foot Forward. It was 1940 when she met a Cuban-born band leader named Desi Arnaz. The two of them were working together on a stage musical called Too Many Girls. They fell in love shortly and were married the same year. Desi Arnaz was born in Santiago de Cuba in 1917, the son of a mayor and member of Cuba's House of Representatives. As a child, Desi grew up in opulent surroundings and lived a comfortable life on the Caribbean island. Looking back on his childhood, one would never imagine he'd ever leave Cuba. But in 1933, a revolution was spearheaded by Fulgencio Batista, who later became the president of Cuba, after overthrowing President Gerardo Machado. Desi's father was briefly jailed, and the family's wealth was confiscated. Upon his father's release, the Arnez family decided to flee Cuba. They moved to Miami, and Desi graduated from St. Patrick Catholic High School. He helped his father in the family's tile business, but also had ambition to pursue a career in entertainment. He began playing music following his high school graduation. He soon started his own orchestra and became a hit in New York's nightclub scene. His musical talents led to working on stage and films. He acted in the Broadway musical Too Many Girls and later appeared in the film version, which is where he met Lucille Ball. He continued to pursue his acting career in addition to his musical career. One of his biggest roles was in the film Bataan, in which he co-starred with Robert Taylor. He had become so famous that, like Lucille Ball, he had a chance to appear as himself in a film. The film was called Cuban Pete and was released in 1946. In a future episode of I Love Lucy, Desi would perform a song called Cuban Pete. The song and dance scene remains one of the most popular scenes in the history of the show. Lucy Arnaz and her brother Desi Jr. were lucky to be born to two talented parents. It's no wonder they both grew up to be popular entertainers in their own right. Before we tell you more about Lucy Arnaz's life and career, please like this video and subscribe to Factsverse for more. I Love Lucy A few months after Lucy Arnaz was born, the show I Love Lucy premiered on American TV. It was a hilarious sitcom that followed a married couple named Ricky Ricardo and his wife Lucy and their everyday lives. The show was full of hilarious situations, slapstick comedy, witty humor, and it reflected the idyllic American life that was typical of other 50s sitcoms. This was the show that made them both famous. It was in this environment that Lucy Arnaz grew up. She grew up in a talented household with parents who had experience in film, TV, stage, and music. Both Lucy and Desi would also work behind the scenes in production as their careers progressed. Lucy Arnaz's career In the 60s, Lucille Ball had a follow-up show to I Love Lucy. It was called The Lucy Show and followed widower Lucy Carmichael and her family life in a small town in New York. Lucy Arnaz began her career with a few walk-on roles in The Lucy Show. Her debut acting role was in Here's Lucy. This was Lucille Ball's third sitcom following the end of The Lucy Show. Lucille Ball acted alongside both her children in this show. Lucy Arnaz played Kim Carter, who was Lucy's daughter on the show. No doubt she enjoyed working along with her mother. The sitcom showed that Lucy Arnaz also had incredible acting talents that she had inherited from her parents. 
In the 70s, she continued acting in TV shows and TV movies. She'd played Elizabeth Short in the TV film Who is the Black Dahlia? She also appeared in popular shows like Fantasy Island, Murder, She Wrote, Marcus Welby, M.D., Law and & Order, and Sons and & Daughters. Like her mother, she became well-known on television and soon was a household name. She appeared in a sitcom on her own called The Lucy Arnaz Show, based on the British sitcom Agony. She played Dr. Jane Lucas. She was a psychologist who answered questions from her audience through a magazine and a radio show. The show only ran for six episodes. She appeared as a host for a late-night talk show that lasted a season. The format of the show was later used for The Rosie O'Donnell Show. She later worked as an executive producer for a documentary on her parents' careers. The documentary was called Lucy and Desi, a home movie, and it won Lucy Arnaz an Emmy Award in 1993. She's also done occasional film work. Her first role in a feature film was as Saunders in Billy Jack Goes to Washington. It was an exciting political thriller and was part of the famous Billy Jack series. Her other major film role was as Molly in The Jazz Singer. This film was a huge hit and starred Neil Diamond and Sir Laurence Olivier. She was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in The Jazz Singer. One talent that Lucille and Desi Arnaz were both known for were their musical talents. Both were brilliant at singing and dancing. And these talents were definitely passed down to Lucy, as she's had an extensive career in theater, especially musical theater. In 1978, she played the lead role in Annie Get Your Gun. She later played the role of Rita in Educating Rita in 1981. Her other theater credits include roles in They're Playing Our Song, My One and Only, The Guardsman, The Wizard of Oz, and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Her most recent theater work was in Pippin, which she toured in 2014. In 2020, she appeared in an episode of Will and Grace that was heavily inspired by I Love Lucy. Lucy's currently focused on being the executive producer of a new film about her parents. The film stars Nicole Kidman as Lucille Ball and Javier Bardem as Desi Arnaz. It's currently being called Being the Ricardos. It's written and directed by Aaron Sorkin. This isn't the first time that Lucy has worked to preserve her parents' incredible legacy. In addition to her 1993 documentary, she's been involved in other initiatives to preserve it. She served on the board of directors at the Lucille Ball Desi Arnaz Center in Jamestown, New York, where Lucille Ball was born. She also appeared on stage for the Lucille Ball Festival of New Comedy in 2012. We're eager to see the upcoming film, and we're glad Lucy Arnaz is doing her bit to promote her parents. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you excited for the upcoming film about Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.